Building blocks, Tinker Toys, and Legos, chances are you played with one or all as a kid. Today, Legos were part of a competition in Fairborn. Nathan Baker explains. The Nutter Center is known for holding big-time sporting events, like the Wright State Raiders, or even the Dayton Bombers. But how about Legos? I'm talking about the first Lego League Ohio State Championships, where over 500 kids from 48 schools around the state competed for a shot at going to the World Championships. This is a way to give kids a way to excel in math and science, and in a sports-like environment where they're cheered. Now, these aren't the Legos most of us remember. They have motors, gears, and software that allow the kids to program them to complete tasks. Legos has changed a whole lot. It's now not just the regular, oh, let's build a house kind or a spaceship kind. It's um, you have to design a robot and have compete with other robots. There are 11 local teams competing at state. One of those, the Human Knot from Springboro, are in their first year, and they're enjoying the experience. You get to build with Legos, but also you get to compete with others instead of just... And you also get to program and make the robot do what you want it to do instead of just building and then you're done with it. Sometimes you can feel a lot of pressure or get really nervous, but um, we know that it's if we do screw up, it's not that big of a deal. People don't come out and say, ooh, wow, let's cheer on the scientists. And really, that's an area in our society that we need to encourage kids to pursue. It's not, it doesn't appear to be as glamorous, but it is absolutely critical to the future of, of our country. And who'd have thought our future would look brighter thanks to a familiar toy? At the Nutter Center, for Dayton's News Source, I'm Nathan Baker. Nathan, thanks a lot. You see all the kids getting fired up, waving <laughs> flags and everything. I guess yeah. it is kind of a sport. Oh, gosh, that was neat. <laughs> really neat.